alrighty then. So I got half a stick of butter. And to it. We're gonna add hot sauce. And there wasn't much left in that bottle. Uh, a couple of shots. But I knew that. And I have another bottle. Oh, it's almost a whole bottle. <laughs> oh, I need another bottle. Almost use the whole thing. But this is a small bottle anyways. It's only five ounces. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, so with the two bottles, that's about six ounces, which <laughs> that's about what I needed. Anyway, so I'm still I'm trying to get everything going at the same time here. Um, having some technical difficulties, though. All right, so we got the hot sauce and the butter melting. Pretty good. You can use any kind of hot sauce. You can use any kind of butter. Not margarine. Gotta be butter. Butter, 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 butter. Mix it up. Tastes yummy. Okay. And. I'm going to stop put the chicken in that, and then I'll be back. And I'm back again. Alright, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Just slightly up a little bit. And we're going to turn. Actually, I'm going to go back down a little bit. Okay. So, next step. In today's cooking video, we got, we have to remove these labels, because we can't eat them, so we can put it up on the stem, remove these, we got some beautiful, brilliant orange peppers, and yes, I can't use this knife, I'm going to use this simple knife. And I'm heating the chicken and hot sauce and butter mixture, also the onion. Remember, that was half an onion, and then we put the chicken on top of it. And you could do it in the oven, you could do it in the Instant Pot, you could do it, uh, well, that's two ways that you can do it. <laughs> in the oven or in the Instant Pot. You put the chicken on top of the onions. And then you cook it. And then you break it up. And then <clears throat> you heat a half a cup. Oh, delicious. Um, half a cup of hot sauce. And, um, try to tell you how much butter. I can't see nothing without these spectacles. Uh, okay. Without my spectacles, uh, a quarter cup of butter. If you like it spicier, use less butter. If you like it milder, use more butter. Simple as that. Let's make it simple. Oh. And now we're just gonna cut around the stem piece. Just go right around this pepper. Right around. And you remove the whole seed pod. 
and there won't be a very few seeds left in there but we'll knock them out I don't really want those seeds all right and then we're gonna repeat with this one you go a little bit wider than that be a little bit easier to get that out at pod Not too wide. All right. Just give that a little twist. It's like opening an avocado. Oh, look at that, a baby pepper in there. All right, go, I'll eat that. Oh, I'm delicious. Another baby. I love peppers. Okay. So, got our two peppers. We got our mixture. I'm gonna use my cast iron pan. I'm just gonna put the peppers right in it. Can you guess what we're making? We're making buffalo chicken stuffed peppers. And it's delicious. And now I need a spoon. It's not a spoon. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. All right, and then we're going to drop that right in there. Oh, yeah. Drop this right in to the peppers. Fill them right up. Um, now you can adjust the recipe to any. You can make more or less. I used two chicken breasts to make two peppers. A boneless chicken breast, rather, to make these two peppers. These are pretty good sized peppers. And I might not fill it all the way up. I might have some left over. But generally, you're about, about one chicken, boneless chicken breast per pepper is about what you're going to need. And uh, depending on how good you stuff it in there, see, you just push it down a little bit and you'll make some more room. And we're going to push them in. And we're going to put some more in. I cannot wait to throw down on these, or at least one. Uh, the ones are going to be left over, and one's for, one's for dinner, and one's just left over. I can't wait. Okay. I think we're stuffed, and pull out my trays. Alright, and I'm going to put my peppers Flip me top rack There we go And I'm going to put my peppers in And I'm going to bake them Until they de become The desired tenderness that I need Which, um Let's see if this, if the recipe tells you anything at all. It says preheat to 350, which I didn't do. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. Uh, place stuffed peppers in baking pan. Bake 35 to 40 minutes. 
or until the peppers are softened to your liking. So basically that's that. <laughs> it could be half an hour, it could be 40 minutes, it could be an hour. It depends on how soft or soggy you want to get them. Um, generally, this is probably going to take me 40 minutes because I didn't pre-eat my oven. Because um, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> All right. I'll be back with the finished results and a taste testing. Well, all right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get them out of there. Um, <laughs> good thing I got me a spatula. I got my spatula out of storage today. Still don't know how I'm going to get them out of there. But Care very carefully, that's for damn sure. I'm going to go for that one. Very damn carefully. Oh. Yep. And then I'm going to put that one back in. Oven's off. We'll just let it get some more of that heat. And, oh, good thing that was almost empty. Uh, I've been spilling things for the last 24 hours, I swear to God. It's horrible. Mass hole approved. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Buffalo Ranch chicken stuffed peppers. Yeah, baby. You know how we do. That's a different one for you. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. If you haven't already done it, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon next to it. It'll tell you the next time a video comes out. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.